Hi everyone, I'm a master student from Beihang University. I'm pleased to have this opportunity of making a presentation about our work on the web conference 2021. The name of our paper is Unsupervised Semantic Association Learning with Latent Label Inference. My presentation is in five parts. Firstly, let me explain what is semantic association learning. The definition of semantic association learning is that, given a sentence S and a set of candidate sentence top, our aim is to select the most related target sentence P prime in top by learning the association between them. Here is an example from WordSense Disambition task. In this paper, we unify many similar tasks under the semantic association learning task. In this paper, we focus on three subtasks in semantic association learning. WordSense Disambitious is given a sentence including an ambitious word to be disambitioned and a noise sight of possible glosses. Our aim is to learn the association between the ambitious word and its real glosses in the sentence. Answer selection is given a question and a set of candidate answers. We want to learn the association between the question and its proper answer. Question travel is given a question and a set of candidate questions. Our aim is to learn the association between the given question and the candidate questions, which is semantically similar with it. The traditional word counting based method like TFIDF and BM25 ignore the semantic similarity between two sentences. So, they suffer from the term mismatch problem. With the development of deep learning, current methods focus on neural network based methods with large amount of labeled data. But in the unsupervised setting, there are two types of methods. One is based on unsupervised sentence embedding model. The other is task specific method, which rely on manually craft features about one subtask of semantic association learning. In practice, the supervised signal for training a supervised model can be difficult or expensive to obtain. So, it is meaningful to study an unsupervised manner for semantic association learning. We can find that even every task is to learn association between two sentences but each task is characterized by its task-specific association schema. But it, this association is shared by all instances which induce an interdependency among all instances. For example, the way to disambitious whether an apple represents a fruit is helpful, is helpful to disambitious whether a pear represents a fruit. But existing unsupervised methods do not well exploit it, the interdependency among all instances. Sentence embedding methods consider every instance independently. Task specific methods do not suit for all kinds of semantic association learning tasks. So, in this paper, we propose a generic unsupervised semantic association learning framework we call the USAR. We exploit source sentences and the labels of predicted target sentence in an EM algorithm. The EM algorithm iteratively updates the latent labels and the compute one source score functions parameters. To tackle the computational complexity problem, we incorporate noise constructive estimation method in M step. Specifically, we present a concrete model in this paper, which uses a BERT based score function 
and test our model's performance in three tasks. Now, let me introduce our model in detail. Firstly, we present a generative model for semantic association learning task. We formulate the conditional distribution about the PS given tau L related with the score function F. L is the index of the ground truth target sentence. After the revision, we can maximize PS given tau through the following loss function. We can optimize this loss function by EM algorithm. In this process, we can learn the correct association between the source sentence and the ground truth target sentence. In the E step, we update QL given as top, which will be used as the latent label for updating the score function F parameters. Q is calculated by the sum of F, S, T, and G, T through a softmax function. G, T is the prior distribution of T over tau, which presents the probability of the correct answer. In practice, G, T can be obtained from different ways. For example, in the word sense distribution task, WordNet offer a frequency of every gloss for a word. We can also use the result of another unsupervised method as GT. In the M step, we maximize the loss for the current setting of Q over C, but this loss has a large computational complexity because we have to calculate the normalized value C. It needs to be calculated through all instances in the design. To tackle this problem, we translate the loss function to an NCE loss. NCE loss converts the loss of M step into a binary classification problem that distinguishes whether the data come from the original design or custom negative distribution. Regarding the details of NCE, we have made a more clear explanation in our paper. Finally, we use BERT as the score function. We combine the source sentence and the target sentence as the input of BERT. And the representation of CRS position will be used as the input of a linear layer to calculate the final score. In the training process, we only train the last n layers parameters of word to avoid overfitting. We do experiments on three tasks and report the result. We report the main result of USAR on five runs along with its standard division on each design. Here is the result of word sense dissipation task. Here is the result of question retrieval task. And here is the result of answer selection task. We can find that in each task, our model achieved a state of art performance. Besides that, we also do some additional ablation study to analyze the contribution of each component of USAR framework. In the first column, we remove the E-step and update our model using the original di prior distribution to verify the EM algorithm's effective. In the second column, we train a model with all parameters of all layers in BERT to see whether our freezing setup really avoid overfitting. You can see that without E step, the result has a big draw, and training all parameters of BERT will bring a large variance of performance. We also do experiments to estimate the influence of different prior distribution. The blue bars refer to the performance of our model, and the red 
bars refer to the prior distribution's performance. We tried three different unsupervised methods at distribution on four different sites. The results prove that adding prior distribution always brings improvement to USAR, and the performance of USAR benefits more from the better prior distribution which indexed USL has the potential to improve further with high-quality prior distribution. Here is the summary of our contribution. We present a unified unsupervised semantic association learning framework and the learning algorithms and the release framework. An EM algorithm is developed for inferring the latent index of true association sentences. Noise constructive estimation are also developed with the EM framework. Impartial study on the various tasks confirmed effective of our framework. Here is all of my presentation. Our code is currently published on GitHub. If you are interested in our work or have any questions, Please feel free to contact us. Thanks for listening.